When I first started at Memorial as a faculty member in 2000, almost 19 years ago, the average life expectancy for people with the disease that I love to hate the most, which is metastatic melanoma, was seven months. Now, based upon work supported by all of you, that median life expectancy is over four years and counting. <laughs> But, but we, are, we are absolutely not done because not everybody is cured. We need to work harder, we need to pedal faster, we need to climb bigger hills. And we can only do that with you at our backs. We now have opened a clinical study that's open throughout the country where patients with bladder cancer, whether they live in California or Georgia or, or DC, they can actually have their bladder tumor sent to Memorial Sloan Kettering and we will do genetic sequencing on it and be able to let them know if they have this mutation. And if they do, then they can actually get chemotherapy alone and not have to worry about that huge surgery to remove their bladder afterwards. So, And, and all of that sequencing is free of charge, and the only reason why is because Cycle for Survival is funding that. So we couldn't even do this trial without what you guys are doing, so thank you so much. We now have one of the largest immunotherapy programs for sarcoma patients in the world. It's really, it's really impressive, it's really impressive. We have at least 10 ongoing clinical trials and many more in the planning stages. And it would not have been possible if I never got that funding from Cycle for Survival. So what my group does is we try to figure out for each patient why they got their cancer and what's making that tumor grow. We use an approach called next generation sequencing where we can look at hundreds or thousands of genes in the genome and figure out which of those genes are mutated in an individual patient's tumor um, and potentially whether there's any genetic variation in the normal cells that was inherited that maybe led to that patient getting uh, the cancer in the first place. And the reason we do this is it allows us to maybe me me match up for each patient in a personalized way why, uh, what they're most likely to respond to uh, in terms of which treatments. In the past two years, we have six new drugs approved for acute myeloid leukemia, three of which were directly resulting from science funded in the labs and in the clinic by all of you. We're trying to get these grants for rare cancers that just don't come through. Um, and then Cycle for Survival comes along, and it's a gift that keeps on giving. It not only gives thanks to your incredible generosity, um, it gives us the faith um, that we absolutely can and will win this battle. Our goal is really to make more progress in the next decade than we had in the last century, and we can do it. We have the ideas. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to do it. About six years ago, right before we had our first cycle funding, we were studying a really rare form of blood cancer called histiocytosis. Most of you all probably never heard of that. Most doctors have never even heard of that condition. Uh, but it can affect children, even from the time of birth, as well as adults up until their 80s or 90s of age. And when we started this work, there was no drugs for this condition. There was nothing FDA approved. Most doctors didn't know what to do with these patients. And we discovered, interestingly, half the patients have a mutation that's shared with melanoma skin cancers. And what's really interesting is that for the melanoma patients, there was already a very effective FDA approved drug. So we wanted to test that in these blood cancer patients. And uh, in order to get funding to do that, we couldn't get any traditional funding from the government or other sources where we usually like to get funding. But lo and behold, we were able to get a cycle funds to do this. And uh, to make a long story short, this is now the first FDA approved drug for the condition just approved last year. It's been tremendously successful. Just in November, we uh, were able to get a drug FDA approved for a series of rare cancers that cross both pediatric and adult uh, patients and it was actually life-saving and you you did that all of you you did it so thank you um, and thank you from all of the uh, staff and faculty at Memorial Sloan Kettering. Cycles for Survival supported our my research for the last six years and it really helped me understand what types of patients respond better to certain subsets of treatments and for each patient individually, I mean, a lot of you I see in this room, we've changed the course of their illness from being the scary, ugly thing to a manageable, contained, chronic issue that people come in and get treated for. 
This research is transformative. Through research supported by Cycle for Survival, we develop immunotherapies where we could use the immune system to better cure these cancers. Doing the research that not only finds better cures, but makes those cures less toxic, that is research and that is what you're supporting today. About 20 years ago, we got interested in a very rare cancer, uh, 1,500 cases a year affecting adults. Nobody really understood it. Uh, your support, the support of Cycles for, for Survival, has helped us to understand this cancer in a way that has enabled us to pro provide better outcomes with less treatment than any place in the country. And I'm incredibly proud of that. It's not just to support research at Memorial Sloan Kettering. It's to bring new paradigms into being, to show that they work, and then deliver them to everyone in the country.